All right, 2023's backpacking trip, long trail through hike attempt. I got Cool Breeze with me. He's gonna do first eight days to we're at the Inn at Long Trail. And this is the overlook above Inn at Long Trail, and that's Pico Ski Resort right there. What's that, Route 4? Yep. Route 4, and then I guess the inn is actually right down here below us. You can't see it, but we're going to be coming over that mountain right there and coming down. And then uh, in eight days, and then I'll be going that way somewhere. But that is the plan for the next three weeks is to through hike the long trail in Vermont. Start of day one. The long trail through hike this is the the uh, restaurant in the in it long trail breakfast comes with the with uh, staying here and this is the view out the back which is kind of cool and we have nice soothing music right cool breeze yes this relaxing you <laughs> so relaxed and here's the outside of the in it long trail and there's Cool Breeze moving his car across the street. So yeah, I like this place. A little loud here, sorry with all the cars. But uh, there's where he's going to park. And I uh, just had a free breakfast. Now we're waiting for the shuttle driver to come and drive us two hours to the Mass Vermont border to the start of the long trail. All right, we are on the trail finally. We just took our shuttle ride from the Inn at Long Trail. We are now in Massachusetts, 3.8 miles from the Mass Vermont line where the Long Trail starts. So 3.8 miles and we'll actually be starting the actual hike. And uh, yeah, I think we're doing like 9, 10 miles today. And we'll see what's coming up. Should be fun. All right. Yeah, hold on. Here is the start of the long trail. And uh, look, it's 273 miles in hopefully three weeks. Wish me luck. Here is a really giant rock. Cool Breeze said I should film it, so I am. Enjoy it. Take it all in. Take it in. It's balancing there. It's like magic. All right, that's it. Here is the only view for today. We're, I don't know, like a mile from camp. And um, don't think we're going to get any of the views. So this is it. Here is camp for night one. There's my hammock. There's a beaver pond that we're camped right next to. And there is Cool Breeze's tent. And I guess we can try and walk over to the beaver pond. I haven't really looked at it yet. I've been so busy setting up today. Actually, it wasn't too bad. It was like nine and a half miles or so we did today, I think. And uh, it was all right. It's actually harder at the beginning than it was at the end. I'm not sure why, but... So I guess... Right ahead of, straight ahead of us, that's the beaver dam part, I guess. It's all grown over grass, so you can't really see it, but... You can see a lodge or two out there. I don't know if you can see it, it's over there, but... Yeah. Nice spot. We will see what tomorrow holds. Beginning of day two. Here's a little view of the mud we've been going through yesterday and today so far. Uh, we had a nice little sleep at the beaver pond last night. Uh, couple came in who were through or she's through hiking he's sec he's doing a little bit of it with her um the long trail so we chatted with them for a little bit they came in at like dark they actually had the same shuttle driver we had so i heard them talking and i thought they were someone else down getting water so i walked on down there and they and someone's yelling tommy is that you tommy and i'm like well my name's tom not tommy but i don't think i'm who you think i am and he's like Oh, you know, yeah, no, no, no. Bill, the shuttle driver, he told us he dropped you guys off and said we'd probably see you. 
So they had had the same shuttle driver we had had just after we got dropped off. He went and picked them up and dropped them off. So that was kind of funny. But So as of right now, we're undecided where we're going to stay, what we're going to do for the next couple days. We're already thinking about changing the route. We will see how it goes. Here's a good view. You can actually see Bennington, Vermont from here. I don't know if you guys can see. There's the, uh, the, what's it called? Obelisk. The obelisk in Bennington, Vermont. It's some kind of memorial to a Revolutionary War battle. Battle. Now, I don't even think I can see it on this little teeny screen. It's kind of right in the middle back there. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. But it's a very nice view. This is probably the best view we've had so far when we've been out. Yeah, it's nice. Here's a nice little creek. We just had lunch. We stopped at a little parking lot right here. On the side of the road, had lunch. Right around the corner. And there's a nice bridge over this creek. Alright. Canada on the long trail, 259.5 miles to go. Like, I don't know, 15, 20 done so far. Or does it say it on there? No. Oh yeah, 12.5, Vermont Mass Line. So we've done 12.5, I still have 259 to go. No problem. Camp for night two. We're actually up a hill way to lug a ton of water up the hill to a view did 13 miles a day and it kicked my behind and uh it's early still it's not even five yet but so far no one else is here last night the, the at or at long trail at whatever you want to call it it's right over that way through the bushes last night at like i don't know 7 30 a couple came set up in our little camp area right there chatted with them for a little bit um, but I'd be very surprised if anyone showed up here because we're kind of on top of a mountain with no water around us. So we'll see what happens. Beginning of day three. Um, and this is a teeny tiny view. We're like a mile, mile and a half from camp. And uh, hopefully today will be better than yesterday because I felt like sh uh, not good yesterday. Did not, my legs did not want to go another step after we got to 13 miles yesterday, so. Fingers crossed. I feel better. We're doing 14 point something today to a shelter. Um, and uh, hopefully that's good. We should see uh, Cardi, Ann, and Mr. Green. Yep. We've been seeing them off and on since night one. Um, they're going to the same shelter. And there's actually been a lot of people out, though it is a holiday weekend, so that's pretty cool. But I uh, will uh, keep going from here and see how I feel. We are entering the Glastonbury Wilderness. So, therefore, it is less maintained than the trail so far, which hasn't really been maintained at all. So, I'm not sure what the difference is, but they're not going to trim the bushes or build bridges in here. So hopefully we're not crossing too many deep streams. Here's my delicious backpacker lunch. Peanut butter and two wraps. And then I have some raisins and dates and something else. And Cool Breeze is having peanut butter and wraps. And beef jerky. Beef jerky. See that? He's mixing it up. Luxury hiking. This is our beautiful scenic spot. Some empty campsite. All right, Beaver Beaver Lake number two. You can really see the dam right here. And there's the Beaver Lodge right there. Here's the view from Kid Gore Shelter, or Kid Rock Shelter, as we like to call it. It's much better in person. So when you're hiking in Vermont. It has a nickname, Vermud, and this year has been kind of a muddy year. I haven't filmed it much. I'll, I'll, I'll get a few clips of the mud that we've been going through. There's more mud. 
and more mud. Here is Camp for Night 3. This is Story Spring Shelter. And my hammock is, if you can see it, right back up there in the woods. There's a couple other people. There's, oops, sorry, two hammocks right over here. And there's a guy with a tent back on the other side of him, of, the, of them. Um, but what you might notice is Cool Breeze's tent isn't here. He's abandoned me for a burrito. Uh, he walked, he decided to walk four extra miles to a hostel and get a burrito. And I'm going to meet him in the morning. All right. So anyway, I stopped kind of abruptly there because uh, there was a hiker coming. But uh, so yeah, here's my uh, hammock. And there's the shelter. But uh, yeah, so Cool Breeze, he was feeling way better than me. And he's only going for, you know, he's going way shorter. He's not going the whole three weeks. You know, there's a couple more days left. He really wanted a burrito. And these other two people that we met were going to this hostel that's three and a half, four miles down the trail farther. The lady was going to pick him up. And I said, go if you want to go. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Just bring me a breakfast breakfast sandwich tomorrow morning when you come back out. And he didn't want to go, didn't want to go. And they are saying, come on, you know burrito burrito and finally he's like all right i'm gonna go so he took off and uh, i'm hanging out here tonight i'll see him tomorrow morning i actually just spent the last like two hours chatting with a bunch of weekend hikers and section hikers which was really fun we we're all hanging out at that picnic table down there uh, talking two of the young guys uh, who are just out for a couple days have like seven pound tents and 50 pound backpacks so it was kind of funny chatting with them and making fun of all their heavy stuff. But I'm going to go to bed. It's a little bit past seven. Beginning of day four. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm about half an hour away from camp. Um, didn't sleep so hot last night. I think maybe because I slept 11 hours the night before. But um, So we'll see what happens today. About uh, two more miles. I should meet up with Cool Breeze and see how the hostel was. I had a good time last night. There was two guys who were section hikers and two guys who were just out for a few days. We all sat around the picnic table and chatted for a couple hours, so it was actually really fun. And, um, I don't know. Plan is totally open. We will see what happens from here. But, uh, I think I have to redo my second half of the hike plan because some of those days the elevation is just insane. But luckily I have a zero day built in, so I'll probably sacrifice a zero day and try and do some lower mileage, less elevation change days. Just trying to figure all that out. So uh, I'll film some more in a bit. All right, back with Cool Breeze. Met up with him at the parking lot. He bought me, a, brought me a big giant burrito. Had half of it, now I'm gonna eat half of it, probably in a little while. And we're gonna summit Stratton Mountain today. I believe there's a fire tower at the top. Hey, look, more mud. I did a section just on how much mud there is here. Um, and he said the hostel was awesome that he stayed at. So that was cool. And he had lots of food and got a shower and washed his clothes. So I smell bad and he smells good. And uh, we're going to, like I said, I, I think I probably said it already. Thinking about maybe 16-ish today and then 6-ish tomorrow into town to eat and resupply. And we have a reservation at Pinnacle Lodge, where I've actually stayed before. It'll be interesting to see how it looks now, because it was an interesting place. The whole front, when you pull in, it looks like an abandoned ski resort, ski lodge. If you walk around back, they have uh, part of the back, the rooms in back, redone. Like a couple years ago, they were brand new. Um, they have a nice seating area and a little pond with like canoes and stuff you can go in and a fire pit and hammock chairs and all kinds of stuff. So that'll be interesting tomorrow. And I'm just taking a break on the world's smallest bench. 
I think we're almost to the top of the mountain. All right, made to the top of Stratton Mountain. This is the fire tower on top of Stratton Mountain. And I guess I'll climb up to the top. Uh, it's about 11, so probably going to have a snack. Go a little bit farther before lunch. All right, here's the view from the top of Stratton Mountain Fire Tower. I don't know what that is. There's a big ski slope over there and something right there. Here's the view. shoot through the glass so it's not gonna be as good there's a little shed down there. there's a couple guys working on it and over this way there's a big lake I'm not sure <laughs> unfortunately I don't know what any of this is I guess I could look at my map real quick and tell you I'll do a quick 360 try not to fall down the hole standing right by the hole in the stairs Saw that part already. Here's a little bit over this way. All right, if I had to guess, I'm gonna guess that those buildings right there and there's a little tower is Bromley, Bromley, Stratton Mountain. And that the ski slope you can see back there in the distance is Bromley, which will actually be at the top of that ski slope in Day after tomorrow, we'll be at the very top of that ski slope walking across there. Um, and then maybe those mountains way off in the distance. I don't know. Maybe we're going that direction. I'm not sure. There's a really cool bridge over this creek. It's actually pretty high. And a pretty creek. Here is the lunch spot for day four. We're sitting by this little crick actually having second lunch if you count the second half of the burrito I ate a little while ago now I'm eating my lunch I brought so second lunch spot of day four this is the longest stretch of boards boards <laughs> walking boards or whatever you want to call them we've had the whole time we've been here there's been like none of these hardly this is pretty amazing. Take it in. Enjoy not walking in mud. This is the famous old piece of equipment. <laughs> it says Long Trail North. Um, we're actually camping right near here. There's actually a creek right down here. Down there. And... Here's where we were supposed to cross at the bridge, but obviously the bridge is out. We're not structurally sound, so we actually just had to rock hop across the, the creek down here. But I remember this, whatever this old piece of farm equipment is from last time we hiked this. Long trail north. Campsite for day four. Here is the hammock and the tent. And over there is one of the gentlemen who stayed at the shelter I stayed at last night. We're actually, uh, probably can't hear, but there's a creek right over there. We're kind of just back a little bit from a creek. And, uh, into town tomorrow. So I don't, nothing too exciting going on. It's kind of buggy. There's some mosquitoes, so we've kind of been hiding, hiding from the mosquitoes. Um, but, yeah, everything's good day morning of day five we're just not very far at all from camp and notice this view which is really cool there's like a little sea of clouds down there in the valley um so last night was fine ton of sobo at through hikers showed up later and uh there was some unique interesting conversation between them younger crowd that is into different stuff than we're into but entertaining so uh i think there's a couple more views before we hit the road and and uh 
I'll film some of them and then what we do today. Here's another little view. Clouds are starting to clear a little. And you can see over towards that way. You can see some houses and stuff. So last night, I was mentioning there was that big group of Sobos, southbound AT through hikers, at camp last night, and it was a little bit after eight, and everyone was pretty much quiet and getting ready to go to sleep. And there was one young lady who, um, I guess she got up to pee or something, and as she's walking back, all of a sudden you hear her like, scream at the top of her lungs bloody murder because uh apparently someone had pooped on the ground near where we were camping and just covered it up with leaves and she'd stepped in it so needless to say she was not too happy about that she went on for a few minutes about now having poop all over her shoe and how much it stunk and she like threw her shoe away from her campsite and said she'd worry about it in the morning but it was it was kind of funny at the time that uh, she was not very happy, but her friend was totally cracking up laughing at her. So, kind of a funny, uh, something that would only happen when you're backpacking. All right, we made it to Pinnacle Lodge. Taking the rest of the day off. This is what the Pinnacle Lodge looks like. We stayed here a couple years ago. It looks much nicer now than it did back then. They painted it. It was, it looked like an unabandoned <laughs> building um, when we were here before but yeah everything's painted now it looks nice uh, have to check it out here's what the room looks like very nice kind of a little bit of a pack explosion on the bed everything was a little damp this morning but there's AC in here which is nice because it's hot and humid high 80s the next couple days so, a little coffee maker, TV, here's out back, there's a little area to sit, which I don't know if we're going to be sitting out there much, it's so hot, but some chairs, and there's a grill you can use, I think that's the owner's house over there, but um, I'm not going to show you what the back looks like. Alright, lunch for town day. We're at, what are, what's this place called? Burger Depot, and this is the brec breakfast burger. Actually has a hash brown on it. And egg and bacon. Beginning of day six. 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 We made it back. Had our dangerous road walk over there. Down the highway, no one ran us over. We are here. And we're going to the top of Bromley, which doesn't show on this map. Where the ski resort is somewhere up in here but uh here's a here's a preview pretend like you're on top of bromley ready i'll fill the screen Ooh, look at the view wow amazing so uh yeah three more days then we get to the in it long trail and cool breeze is gonna head on out and we'll see if i keep going we'll make it a mystery Will Tiny just go home after eight days or will he keep going? Here is the top of Bromley Ski Mountain, but unfortunately it's so hot and hazy that you can't really hardly see anything. Cool Bree says I have to pan slower. I'm making him sick when he watches my videos. But yeah mountain one down for the day I just think this is a pretty lake so I'm filming it getting close to camp well we got this view it's not bad not super clear but still very nice A little bit of a view, but still really hazy out. 
you got to get through. Unfortunately. Yeah. Hopefully in the next couple of days it'll, That's over the next, uh, it'll clear up. Two. Hard to tell, but we just came up with this super steep rock slab here. You can kind of see it winding down there. Going up this way. I think there's going to be a lot more of that farther north. All right, right here is camp for the night. There goes Cardiana and Cold Breeze sitting in the creek, soaking their feet. Camp's right up there to their left, where she's walking. There's Cold Breeze. Go across this little suspension bridge right here, not so little, but. And there's a big giant cement block holding it, I guess. That's kind of cool. And then camp is right down in there. Here is camp for the night. There is Cardiana's tent. There's Cool Breeze and Cardiana. There's my hammock right over there, if you can see it. And Cool Breeze's tent is right there. And it's a lot of flood damage. I stayed here two years ago and all it wasn't all like this with all these trees and washed out from what I remember. But there's the river right there and that suspension bridge is right up over there. You just can't see it through the trees. Right on the other side of my hammock is without suspension bridges. Morning of day seven. This is the shelter that's right down the trail from uh, where we just tented last night. It's actually really nice. It's got a it's right here, and here's that creek we were camped along. Um, but of course, we're supposed to get back tomorrow's mat is cool breezes last day now i'm starting to wonder maybe i should it would have been a better idea to plan this as three like eight day section hikes where cool breeze could come along rather than doing it all three weeks him leaving and me doing two more weeks after he leaves so i don't know it would be nice to kind of split it up and make it a couple more years of backpacking so uh something to think about i don't know i'll think about it more as we walk today all right cool breeze just noticed something super interesting this boulder that's right here apparently didn't used to be here because if you look here's the boards <laughs> and you can see the path on the other side of this it used to go right underneath where this giant rock is and all the leaves and stuff are on top of it. So this right here used to be the top. So that boulder must have recently rolled across, across the path right here. So hopefully no one was there when it rolled over. Here's a nice little pond that we just passed. Oh, hello ridge there yeah so i decided uh that i'm just gonna that i'd rather break this up rather than just doing this all in three weeks that i'd rather spread it out and do maybe like three section hikes that way i can make this last a little longer so we have tonight and then tomorrow we're gonna get back to the in it long trail where cool breeze's car is and i'm just gonna head home then i'd rather spread it out rather than do it all and not have any other hikes to go on this is such a nice hike i kind of want to have a few more trips to come up here and hike so it's not going to be a through hike so it's going to be a section hike but you know typical for me right here is the famous vermont rock garden there's cool breeze for scale I think the dudes behind us are going to come along and knock them all over, so enjoy these while you can. Oh, I don't know if you guys see it. There he goes. Ah, oh, he's gone. 
Oh, my shadow's in the way. But anyway, there's a little snake right there. It's super cute. Probably would eat evil mice. Would try and get into my food bag. This is shockingly named Airport View. And if you look way up there to the right, you can see Rutland, Vermont. But obviously this is Rutland Airport. It's hot out today. It's like, feels like high 80s today. Anytime you walk uphill, sweat's just rolling off you. But, uh... It's still hazy. It must be like haze from the heat or something, I guess. I don't know. And there's a little bit of a view right through here, too. But only a few more miles to camp, and then it's probably going to rain tonight and tomorrow, so we'll see. All right, this is the bridge over Clarendon, Clarendon Gorge or something like that. Ugh. Sorry. A little t Whoa, it's bouncy. Good time. There's the river down there. There's the river down there. He's coming out. Just to top off the end of a amazingly hot and humid day, we're going up this humongous 5,000 foot gorge full of giant boulders. Now you can't really see much down. Uh, we've come up a couple hundred feet already. And it keeps on going up. There's cool breeze up there heading up. Hopefully we're near the top. Here's camp for the night, day seven, last night on the trail. There's my hammock right back there in the woods. There's cool breezes, tent. Cardiana's tent's back there. And we're actually staying at a shelter, which is right over here. And there's a little creek back down on that side. Long, hard, hot day today. So like I said, uh, getting into the Inlet Long Trail tomorrow and then I'm heading back with Cool Breeze. We'll turn the Long Trail into a uh, section hike. Because I really like hiking with other people and I don't want to hike for two weeks by myself. So, there we are. Beginning of day eight. Last day on the trail. And we're at a road crossing, and Cool Breeze is going to run three-tenths of a mile right up that road to a little corner farm stand, farmer's market, and get us pastries, and then run three-tenths of a mile back. It's his idea. Um, we're about three miles in for the day. We have like 15 to get to In It Long Trail. Poured rain last night, like thunder and lightning hit right on top of our campsite. Um, so that woke us all up obviously and then it rained real hard and then it stopped and it's kind of cloudy it's not bad it's just kind of hazy cloudy that doesn't look like rain um, but when he gets back I'll uh, have to video see what kind of yummy treats he got us here he comes running back he has no pastries in his hand so it looks like it's going to be a sad day today until we get to the end of the long trail where there's some food. Must have been closed. Yep, thumbs down. It was closed. Here's the trail. It's been just uphill, uphill, uphill all morning. We're going to the top of Killington. I think it was like five miles and, I don't know, 2,500 feet or something elevation gain. So it's been pretty steep and rocky and rooty and... A good time all around. Um, it's like 11 now, so hopefully we'll be there around lunchtime to the top of Killington. We'll see. I don't know if you guys can see it, but where we're going to the Killington Lodge is 
think right there, it's hard to see on this little screen, but there's a thing that runs down. There's a brown building up there. That's where we're going. Also, if we go over this way a little bit, oh, can't see it now. <laughs> Clouds are in the way. There's a radio tower up a little bit higher, but don't know that we're going all the way up there, but right over there in the trees is the Killington Lodge. You can kind of see it over there. That's where we're headed to. Here is the top of Killington. We made it alive. That is the old lodge on top of Killington. It was a shelter for a while. I think it's kind of a rundown mess right now. And these are tent pads right here. And then if you take this trail right up here, you'll go up to the top of Killington. It's like two tents deep uphill. But we can tell just from looking through the trees that there is no view today. It's super cloudy and hazy and I'm not going two tents for nothing. Um, can't even hardly see one ridge away. So we're going to head down this way and five miles we should be back at the end to Cool Breeze's car. Alright. Best view of the whole trip so far. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little green roof in a building down there. I don't know, maybe down here somewhere. That's the inn where we're going to stay, the inn along trail. And then there's a rocky area right above it. We hiked up above that right before we started our uh, hike. Um, yeah, it's actually a really nice view. You can see off in the distance a little bit. It's nice. We are done. We made it to the inn at Long Trail at 3 o'clock. So here's our room. Well, actually, I think maybe a little nicer than the last room. Bed over here. Fancy room. And a nice view out the back. Same floor we were on before. So we're going to get up at dark tomorrow and head home.